Hello there folks, this is your good Uncle Adrian once again and in today's video I'm gonna show you my two super mega cool helmets which I bought some time ago this will be the Roof Boxer V8 in Star Paint Scheme and OSBE Tornado okay the reason why I'm placing those two videos on YouTube is because you haven't got even one comparison test of those two helmets uh, on YouTube and I think this is gonna be super cool to talk about these two in the same video because they were meant to look like uh, you know army helmets for pilots the roof boxer v8 uh, was meant to look like a helmet worn by uh, jet fighter pilots and this was meant to look like a helmet worn by apache helicopter pilots so both very cool okay let's start from the one on the left which is the roof boxer v8 actually let me just remove this one from the okay now so this is the roof boxer v8 in star uh, paint scheme I think this is the rarest helmet you can have from Boxer Package and the most amazing helmet, the coolest looking at least in my opinion. Uh, super neat feature which you can spot straight away is gonna be this um, visor which is Iridium visor. So it's basically like a mirror look, you can even see your reflection in it. I mean this is awesome and what's really cool when you look you know at the visor you can see uh, the rider's face obviously I can see you, you can't see me which is super cool right you open it by pushing this up okay and that's the way it looks with the visor up once again in my opinion it looks like nothing else you can see on the road on the rider's heads okay Boxer V8 has had this um, swivel system sorted out by by changing it inside so those screws don't pop out which is a fantastic feature okay you can wear this helmet as full face helmet okay and then it's gonna look like this all right this is how it looks from the side this is how it looks from the front okay all right let's take a look at the vents so basically you open the vents by pushing this thing up, sorry, down and close by pushing it up. Okay, you've got the rear vent down here, and you've also got your front vent up here. Okay, so you open it, you close it. Okay, when you open the helmet like this and swivel the chin piece or the muzzle, whatever you call it, all the way back, it looks even more cool. And you can ride it like this. So, open face helmet. Okay. Let's take a look at the front of the helmet. You close this down, and that's the way it looks. Let's take a look at what we've got inside the helmet. Let's inspect the padding and all that. So, I don't know if you can see anything, but I'll try to show you as much as I can. Okay. If I was meant to describe the padding, it's very comfortable, very plush, uh, and it's made to a very high standard. The materials are very cool, and you can tell straight away the helmet is expensive, and it feels expensive. I mean, it feels sturdy and robust, uh, in contrast to OSB helmet, which I'm going to tell you about in a few minutes. It feels much cheaper and much more like sort of plasticky. Okay. Anyway, you can have Boxer V8 for 300 quid online from eBay or Amazon or any other shops. Uh, what is very expensive is those upgrades on the visors. They're like 50 extra quid, 45, 50 quid, which is not cheap. But in my opinion, it's definitely worth doing it because it looks like nothing else on the road. Oh, by the way, these two vents can be opened as well. So you open it or close it like this. Right. How does it feel when you ride in it? Well, in my opinion, it's, it feels okay. Initially, I thought it's gonna feel so much worse than normal full face helmet, which I got used to. But no, this one is really good. 300 pounds is a lot of money and you get what you pay for. Uh, it feels comfortable. Um, you don't feel this super loud, um, you know, wind, which is so annoying in long journeys. It's just basically very good quality helmet. It looks awesome. It feels awesome and it performs well as well. So this is the Boxer V8. Now, if you compare this helmet to what I'm gonna show you now, 
the OSB Tornado, which in my opinion looks even cooler. Okay, just look at this. Wow. First of all, if you go for OSB, you need to go for the green one, because obviously it's going to look like proper uh, pilot's helmet. Uh, you can also use it as full face helmet, or uh, you know you can remove this chin piece or muzzle, whatever you call it, by just you know unclipping these two, and this is going to come off. A super mega cool feature is this circle here. Obviously, this is going to resemble you know the place where you put this pipe in, you know, with oxygen when you pilot your um, aircraft. Right, uh, what is a really good feature as well is uh, you've got two visors. This one is obviously clear, see-through. However, if you push this thing down, okay, all the way down, then, oh, you can't see it, but basically, or maybe you will, the second visor is gonna come down. Can you see that movement over there? So underneath the clear visor, you've got a second visor, the tinted visor, which is basically like sunglasses. So in a very sunny day, so you basically push this thing down and you've got, you know, much darker view. So your eyes don't get stressed that much. Okay, so let's put it up. Okay. And this is how you open the helmet up. Okie dokie. As I said, you take this chin piece off and it's going to be like an open face helmet. Let's take a look at the side and the graphics. Warning. <laughs> now that looks really neat. That is really neat. In my personal opinion, OSB looks better. I mean, it looks really mean. And you know, if you ride a bike like Street Fighter or something really rare, oh my god, it's a package. It's gonna look awesome. Right. So let's close it for a second. Sorry, folks. Okay, and let's take a peek at the helmets from all the sides. Okay. Right. Now, price wise, obviously, as I said before, roof is much more expensive. You're looking at at least in the region of 300 pounds plus the shipment. Uh, OSB can be bought without uh, the muzzle, the chin piece if you prefer, and then you can have it for 160 quid. With the chin piece it's 185, 190 quid plus the postage. Obviously with both helmets you get your um, helmet bag, you can see the roof helmet bag behind me. Roof International. Okay, let's take a look at the padding of the OSB. -E. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to uh, show you guys that the difference in pattern is significant. I mean, as I said before, roof feels like quality product. You know, you can tell straight away it's heavier, it's um, it's tighter, and the pattern is plusher and softer, more comfortable. This uh, OSB feels like sort of plasticky. Uh, it's not bad. It's all right, and even when you knock it. This feels like very light and cheap, and this is like you can straight away differentiate the sound. Okay, how does it feel when you ride it? It's all right. Obviously, the wind is an issue because obviously the helmet is not that well made as the roof. Uh, this is rubber, okay, and this is all on those uh, little straps, so it's not going to be the same good in wind deflection or protection as the roof boxer but obviously it's all reflected in your price it's, it's much cheaper, nearly twice cheaper and considering it looks even better it's good to have this helmet so all in all you can have both helmets uh, purchased online eBay, Amazon or any other uh, websites what I find, to, what I find uh, online is that the star scheme, the paintbrush scheme, is unfortunately gone now. You can't have them in any reasonable size. If you're looking for a large or medium, they're all gone. Okay, so you can have uh, the S or you know, extra small, which is not very usable. Uh, with OSB, situation looks much better. You can still have them in pretty much all the sizes, and they're cheaper. And now, recommendation: Who would I recommend it for? Um, it depends on what you go for as a person. If you go for performance and comfort, or if you go for looks, and if you go for 
you know, pivoting people's heads. I'm a kind of person who likes attention, unfortunately, <laughs> sorry. But um, yeah, they both look cool and I went for looks. I've got some other helmets as well if I go for like, you know, touring. So then I would use my full face helmet with anti-fog visor and other comfort features. So no, I, I wouldn't take any of these two for a trip to Spain. But if you commute uh, every day, maybe half an hour to get to work, or you like quick spins in a town, or you basically go for shows, any of these two helmets will be a super cool feature for you. So, right, let's take a look. This is OSB, medium, and this is my Roof Boxer V8, also medium. Okay, so let's take a look at the front of both helmets. I probably forgot to say about something really important. This always happens to me. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheerio!